There was high drama in Kanpur today after a lawyer a traffic busy road started with a heat soon in shuffle. The lawyer attacking the constable who fell on the road. The lawyer driven by the call and continued to hit him. Several cars and two wheelers stopped this drama. Aftab was not conducted today while murder probe. According to the cops, Aftab had a mild fever and was decided to cancel his polygraph test as he was not medically fit. Meanwhile, the hunt for Shraddha's body parts is still on. Police have recovered 35 pieces of body parts so far. A massive fire broke out in Assam's Lahore. The entire set of in the area was to be A businessman in Gwalior was robbed of 35 lakh rupees. An audacious crime was caught. While he was turning, he was accosted by three bike-on masked miscreants. They first fired a round of bullets in the air, then snatched the man's bag from his hand and fled from the spot. पैंतीस लाख रुपए बैंक से निकलवाए थे यहाँ आकर वो वो पीछे से लोग आए धक्का दिया बाइक को और बैग छीनने का प्रयास किया और गोली चलाई दो फायर किए आफ्टर द मैन फाइल्ड अ कम्प्लेन पुलिस वेंट टू द सीन ऑफ द क्राइम एंड चेक सीसीटीवी फुटेज नियर बाय हमारी पूरी टीमें लग गई हैं क्राइम ब्रांच को भी ग्वालियर ऐसी भेज दिया गया है हमारा प्रयास है जल्द ऐसी जल्द इसको हम खुला सकते हैं Sena Uddhav faction leader Aditya Thakre today met with Bihar Deputy Chief Minister and RJD leader Tejashwi Yadav. Aditya and Tejashwi called it a courtesy meeting. Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Jodo Yatra has now entered Madhya Pradesh. The Yatra commences from Budhali village and will continue to go through seven districts in the next 11 days. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vadra too joined her brother in Madhya Pradesh. Until now, the Yatra has traversed through six states. Mumbai's Baikalur Zoo has christened three humble penguins at the facility in the last seven months. With the new arrivals, penguin population in the zoo has jumped to 12. The uh, penguins are procured from the Pix Aquarium in Zoo. Some good news from is the number of local terrorists have now been reduced. If you look, take a look at the, the number of terrorists, uh, number of local terrorists brought down to just three, uh, we're going to see 35% of the local terrorists are aged below 20 years. Uh, over 100 modules of hybrid terrorists have been busted. 82 foreign terrorists are active in Jammu and Kashmir as of right now. 160 terrorists are sitting on various launch pads on the other side of the border. Meanwhile, tensions once again rose between Meghalaya and Assam after the firing incident at a village in Meghalaya. Take a look at this ground report. About six people were killed after a firing incident at Mukro village on the Assam-Meghalaya border. It is being reported that one of the Assam police personnel first opened fire at a crowd. Assam CM Himanta Biswa Sarma has ordered a judicial inquiry and has also requested central agencies to probe the matter. That force has been use a little bit arbitrarily that should not have happened mm -hmm. so we have ordered this inquiry on the Meghalaya CM Conrad Sangma has also condemned the incident state government strongly condemns the incident wherein the Assam police and Assam forest guards entered Meghalaya and resorted to unprovoked firing tension continues border as the two states are already having a major border dispute. All this time, both this incident had nothing to do with border dispute. A unique initiative has been taken by residents of Raj Samadhyalaya village in Rajkot where voting has been made compulsory. The villagers also decided that a person would be fined 51 rupees if they did not show up on voting day. In this village, no political parties will be allowed to enter and about their respective agenda. 
गांव में बहुत पहले से ही से ये नियम किसी भी किसी पार्टी का है किसी पार्टी करने अगर पार्टी वाले कोई करने आए आएंगे तो उसी को नुकसान उसी को होगा इस पार्टी वाले भी समझते हैं कि ये गांव में ना है तो ये गांव में नहीं है मुंबई बस बिलूगा अवे एयरप्लेन व्हिच लैंडेड इन एयरपोर्ट ऑन ट्यूसडे टेक अ लुक एट दिस रिपोर्ट द वर्ल्ड एक्सप्रेस एयरपोर्ट इन मुंबई people flock to the plane looks like a sea wheel the average length of the carrier is 56 meters and its height is 17 meters it was also recently seen at modern carrier cargo it was the official name of super transporter early on however the name beluga gained popularity and has since been officially adopted The aircraft has a carrying capacity of up to 57,000 kilograms. This can run 860 per hour. Experts say the 11% dip in sales of HP is the reason behind the layoffs. Uh, its decision comes at a time when multiple technology companies around the world have begun mass layoffs to cut costs. Turkey's deadly strike 70 fighter jets and drones have been used to attack uh, Turkey claims that uh, 147 kilometers inside northern Iraq is where they are attacking it also claims that inside northern 89 kurdish bases were destroyed in the attack it includes bunkers tunnels weapon depots all of which were targeted A magnitude 5.9 earthquake hit a town in northwest Turkey early Wednesday causing damage to some buildings and widespread panic around 50 people were injured mostly while trying to flee homes Ukrainians could face rolling blackouts because Russian airstrikes intensified the attacks loss of happened to the to cope with to bring people to up supplies and evacuate from hard hit areas and because of these out in Ukraine hospitals in the Kherson have it of very hard hospitals in Ukraine's Kherson are working in darkness the doctors are performing surgery with lamps they cannot even use the patient surgery rooms recently three people left injured after Russia's shelling in the city one of those seriously injured a 13 year old kid whose hands were severed in the blast now the doctors are forced to amputate his hand in darkness seated in a dark hallway in the hospital with her daughter the two console each other waiting for his surgery to end <laughs> Russia disconnected the water and power lines when they retreated from Kherson 2 weeks ago And now it's a massive task for the doctors to operate in darkness especially as the attacks are increasing. Just days after Donald Trump announced his candidature for the US presidency in 2024, Kamala Harris has now said that she will be on the ticket if Joe Biden decides to run in 2024 again. Well, as the president said, he intends to run and um if he does, I will be running with him. and i have no doubt about the strength of the work that we have done over these past 2 years rescuers are battling dozens of aftershocks in indonesia's west java region as the search for survivors reaches its third day now the death toll in indonesian earthquake has risen to 268 the residents are still trying to retrieve their priceless belongings which got buried after the earthquake On Monday, the building crumbled on Indonesia's main Java island after a powerful 5.6 magnitude earthquake. According to Indonesia's National Agency for Disaster Management, over 1000 people are injured and more than 151 people are still missing. 
After the earthquake, nearly 22,000 homes were destroyed and now over 58,000 people are displaced. President Joko Widodo has announced a compensation of up to $3,200 each for owners of heavily damaged homes. Protests have erupted at the world's biggest iPhone factory in the Chinese city of Zhengzhou. Videos show hundreds of workers marching, some of them confronted by people in hazmat suits and riot police. In its statement, the firm said that some workers had doubts about the pay, but the firm based on contracts. After Colorado, another shooting has taken place in the United States, this time at a Walmart in Virginia. Six people were killed at a shooting at a Walmart store in Virginia on Tuesday night. It's being believed the shooter was an employee or former employee of the store who opened fire on other employees in a break room. The shooter was later shot dead by officials. Chesapeake police tweeted that a family reunification site has been set up at the conference center, which was only for immediate family members or the emergency contacts of those who may have been in the building. covered their mouths in a team photograph after the One Love armband was banned by FIFA. Even German Minister Nancy Faeser uh, wore the armband and sat right next to FIFA President Gianni Infantino. That's a wrap. Uh, News Epicenter with Mara Shaquille starts now.